And we welcome Juana Aguilera from the Department of Children and Family Services. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, Juana, we wanted to talk to you about the different myths that exist regarding becoming a foster parent or now known as resource parent. Can you walk us through some of those myths? Yes, there are several myths. And some of those myths include that the resource parent needs to be a citizen, that they need to own a home, that they need to have certain income, be married, and that's not true. All they need is be over the age of 18, live in Los Angeles County, and go through the approval process, which includes a home evaluation, evaluation of the family, a background check, an orientation and a training to be able to answer their questions and explain to them what the responsibilities will be. On average, around how long does it take to become a resource parent after all the training and background checks? Approximately 90 days. It could be less, it could be a little longer, but it should be about 90 days. Right, and talk to us about the responsibilities that a resource parent has. Those responsibilities are very similar to those of a biological parent. Ensure that these kids go to school, that they go to the doctor, give them a, a guidance, advice, give them love, but also to support the reunification process because these kids, their goal is to return home. And as a resource parent, you know, they support the reunification process by uh, assisting with visits and ensuring that the kids have contact with their parents via telephone or any way possible in order for them to remain in contact with their parents. And I understand that there's a huge need for Latinos to become resource parents. Why is that? That's right. Almost 60% of the children receiving services from the department are Latinos. So there's always a need for Latino foster parents. When a child cannot remain in their home, the transition is always easier. When they go into a home that speaks their language, eats similar foods, and shares their traditions and culture. And to become a foster parent or resource parent, is there a certain time that you need to be the resource parent or is it case by case? And also, what if you don't have a, a good relationship with the, with the child or if you just don't have a good connection? Yes, every case is different. The needs of every family is different. And the time frame can vary from six months to 12 months, 18 months, maybe a little longer depending on the family. If the foster parent feels that they need help or they can no longer care for the child, we do everything possible to connect them with the resources necessary to support the resource parent and the child. We don't like to move kids around because it's traumatizing for them. In cases where we do need to move them around, we do find a place that is able to meet their needs. We do move them to a different home if the resource parent feels that they can no longer meet their needs. And there's a lot of help and support that your department offers resource parents, right? That's right. They're not going to be doing this job alone. There's help. It's a matter of getting in contact with their social worker to connect them with the resources necessary. They do receive a monthly payment to be able to care for the child. When a child enters foster care, they, automatically, um, they are automatically enrolled in Medi-Cal. There is child care available if they need it. They receive a monthly, uh, they receive a clothing allowance before the child go back to school to buy clothes and supplies. So there is need, there is help available. It's a matter of getting a hold of their social worker to find out what's available for them. And there's a lot of rewards, right? When you become a resource parent, talk to us about that. I think the, 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 the most uh, beautiful reward is being able to help a child in need. These children are in your own community. Uh, being able to guide them, give them love, support, and help them when they most need it is very rewarding. I think that's the most valuable thing you can do. Help a child when they need it. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yes, if they want to become a resource parent, if they're interested, you know, they can call 1-888-811-1121 so they can answer their questions. Like you said before, there's a lot of myths. There's a lot of uh, information that they need. Uh, that they should have if they're considering it. Just call, get information because these kids are in your own community. They can be your neighbor kids. Your, they can be your neighbor's kids, your, your, your family members. So get information and, and make sure that you have the right information before you, uh, before you make a decision. Well, thank you so much, Juana Aguilera, for all the wonderful work that you do. 
We will be talking soon. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you.